Rossiter, happy Olympics week. I hope you are checking in with Ms. Loomis to see what new Olympic challenge she gives you every day. Today I thought I would jump on her Olympic bandwagon. Ha <laughs> ha bandwagon. <laughs> oh, I miss telling my bad jokes to you in person so you cannot laugh at me in person. Anyway, today I thought I would join her in doing Olympics by sharing with you a little bit about national anthems. National anthems are songs that are played or sung to honor a country. If you've ever watched the Olympics, you know that the national anthem is played for whoever wins the gold medal. I have added the links to two different national anthems under this video. The first link is for the United States national anthem. Now you could spend literally hours listening to different versions of the United States National Anthem, which is called the Star Spangled Banner. Um, you can find versions that are just instruments. You can find versions that are just singers. You can find large groups of people playing and singing or soloists. I bet some of you might remember um, various celebrities um, performing at various sporting events. Usually the National Anthem is played um, or sung right before big sporting events like the Super Bowl or NBA playoffs. Not that we've seen any professional sports in a long time these days. Um, so some of you probably have like a favorite version of the national anthem if you've been watching a bunch of sports throughout your life. The version that I picked of the Star Spangled Banner is pretty cool for a couple reasons. The first reason is that it has both instrument players, it's got a concert band, so you're gonna see flutes and clarinets and oboes and bassoons and trumpets and trombones and saxophones and percussion. So it's got a band, but it also has a choir standing behind it. Um, and I think it's really cool when you get the opportunity to see instruments and singers performing together. The other really cool thing about the performance I picked for you of the Star Spangled Banner is that it's a military group. The performance is by the United States Army Field Band and Soldiers Chorus. And I bet many of you had no idea that the military has its own bands, orchestras, and choirs. You'll notice that all of the musicians in this ensemble are wearing their formal military uniforms, which is not usually what we think about when we think about um, bands and choirs. The second anthem I'm choosing to share with you is one of my very favorite national anthems, and it's from South Africa. South Africa is an actual country. It's not just describing the southern part of Africa. So the second anthem is the national anthem for South Africa, and I love this anthem. I spent a, I spent a good chunk of time studying different national anthems a couple years ago. Um, some of you might remember the last time we did an Olympics unit. It was in the winter, because of course the Olympics swoopy swappy between winter and summer. Um, and after studying a whole bunch of different anthems, I decided that the South African anthem is like my favorite. Why? A um, couple reasons. One, it is sung in five different languages, which I think is really cool. Um, and those five languages are the five most important languages spoken in South Africa. So I think that's a really cool way to represent what the country is through song. Um, another Another thing that I love about that anthem, and this is like a fun, nerdy musical fact, is that that anthem starts in one key and it changes keys partway through and it stays in that. Um, so our fourth and fifth graders this year, when we were doing our xylophone work at school um, in January and February, you had to pick a key to play in. Um, so you took some bars off and put some on. Some of you played with sharps, some of you played with flats. That's a key. Most national anthems, start in one key, partway through they get to like the bridge or the trio and they change keys for a little bit to make it really exciting and then they go back to their home key where they started. The South African National Anthem starts in one key, it changes keys and it stays there. And I'm enough of a musical nerd that I think that's really cool. Um, and finally the South African National Anthem is one of the newest anthems in the world. Um, this version was created was finalized in 1997, um, which was when I was in like first grade. Um, so this, this anthem is younger than I am, older than you, um, but younger than me. And I think that is a pretty cool fact. Today, I would like you to check out the two national anthems that I'm linking below this video. And then the third link down is another link to me. Um, and I'm going to give you two optional challenges about the Olympics. The first challenge is a research challenge, and the second challenge is an imagination challenge. And of course they're optional, um, but if you're looking for more of a 
kind of a hands-on project that could take some time and soak up part of your day this week, um, go ahead and check out those challenges because I think they'll be pretty cool. All right, so go enjoy the U.S. Army Field Band and Soldiers Chorus singing the Star Spangled Banner and enjoy a pretty cool recording of the South African National Anthem also. I sure wish I could see you in person. I miss you lots. Goodbye.